this little guy here is Dorcas Rectus. And it's got a secret that's incredibly rare within beetles, let alone the animal world. So, let's talk about the amazing biology of Dorcas Rectus. This beetle is commonly but most appropriately known as the little stag beetle in both English and Japanese, as its body length ranges from 1.8 centimeters to 3.3 centimeters, but up to 5.4 centimeters in captivity, with females having a smaller variation between 2.2 and 3 centimeters. Although this beetle's name is mostly associated by its size across several languages, its scientific binomial nomenclature literally means straight and describes the overall flat body and straight pincers this cute little guy has. Now, in my other hand, I have another Dorcas rectus, which makes this Dorcas rectus. I apologize for the joke, but the real reason why I have two is because this beetle's secret is that the pincers can come in three different forms, and in fancy words, it displays mandible trimorphism. This is incredibly rare in the insect world, as only two, possibly three, stag beetles have been described with this characteristic. Most beetles have a single form that can range in size, while some may have two distinct ones, such as a major and a minor, like in atlas beetles, but three distinct forms is quite special. Unfortunately, these two beetles in my hand are the same form, so I can't show a live difference, but taking a look at this study here shows a very clear difference in pincer length, but most importantly, the number of teeth. As you can see here, both the rectus I have are the largest form with two pairs of teeth. Granted, the upper pair are very, very tiny, and females have a singular pincer form. Having distinctly different forms begs the question why, but researchers are quite unsure, and especially unsure if these different forms even change their behavior or reproductive strategy, like in dimorphic species where major males compete while minor males sneak. One suggestion for how male trimorphism could be fit into different strategies is that the dominant go for the fighting while medium-sized ones go for the sneak copulation. Now, this tracks with classic major and minor strategies, but the third is very interesting and in that it's possible that the small morph is mimicking the females to trick them to get up and close and ultimately mate with them. But I do wonder if this also tricks males and results in awkward situations in the wild. Fun fact, because of the smallest form, size, and lack of teeth, it has deceived us humans to thinking it was a whole new species and it was even given the name of Himekuagata, which is no longer in use today. But unfortunately, this suggestion doesn't track very nicely with Dorcas rectus, as the form that's most like females is the medium-sized one, and not the smallest one that are as large or even smaller than the females. But maybe the most important part to deceive beetles is not the pairs of teeth, but length of the mandible, as this chibi morph is the closest to the mini mandibles of females. But perhaps there is some kind of other rock paper scissors like interaction going on that prompted this trimorphic evolution. What's also amazing about these tiny guys is their successful abundance in nature. This little stag is hands down the most common stag you can come across in Japan, and they can also be found all across East Asia, Southeastern Russia, Korea, China, and Taiwan, and in a variety of habitats too. Now they're typically a lowland or flatland forest kind of stag, but they're also regularly thriving in higher altitudes where it's very rare to come across other stag beetles. Not only that, they are perfectly happy with small parks found within urban areas, so although rare, these beetles could literally be found in the Tokyo metropolitan area. In fact, sightings were specifically sighted in the Imperial Palace Tiaga Gyoen National Park. Actually, these two here were literally found in front of my apartment door, and I don't live particularly close to a forest. 
which also explains why they're the big ones since smaller stags won't venture this far away. It's often speculated that their success in nature can be attributed to their small size as these beetles require less nutrition as both larvae and adults which makes them very hardy and in turn very easy to breed but research has shown that they sometimes display cannibalistic behaviors so it's best to separate the larvae if you're rearing them. Regardless, they are a very popular pet in Japan, especially for kids, since they can live from 1 to 3 years and effectively hibernate during the winter. I hope you learned a thing or two about this spectacular specimen, and if you thought this trimorphism was interesting, oh boy, wait till you hear about Odontolabus and its legendary or forms. A quick thank you to everyone that's still here, but most of all to the producers of this video and ongoing streams. If you want to be featured at the end of videos, consider helping the Beatles and I by becoming a member of this channel. But until next time, have a fantastic rest of your day.